Hello and welcome to this lesson on the uses of noble gases. In today's lesson, we will firstly understand how the uses of noble gases are influenced by their inertness, low density and non-flammability. Secondly, we will recognise the significance of these properties in various applications. So far, we've talked about noble gases and their properties. You've learned that noble gases are a group of elements found in group zero of the periodic table and are known for being inert, which means non-reactive, having low densities and being non-flammable. These characteristics make noble gases unique among the elements. Building on this foundation, today's lesson will focus on how these specific properties influence the practical uses of noble gases in everyday applications. Noble gases are known for their inertness, meaning they are exceptionally unreactive. This lack of reactivity is related to their complete outer electron shells, which makes them stable and unlikely to form chemical bonds. As a result, they are often used to create an inert atmosphere, an environment where there is no risk of gases reacting with any other substances present. The inertness, low density, and non-flammability of noble gases are key properties that dictate their various uses. These stable and safe characteristics make them ideal for creating inert atmospheres. Helium is used for inflating balloons and airships. Argon is used for prolonging the life of light bulbs, and neon is used for creating striking neon signs. Understanding these properties allows us to appreciate why noble gases are so valuable in different technological and everyday applications. Now, let's have a look at these examples of the use of these noble gases in more detail. In welding, noble gases such as argon are used to shield the weld area from atmospheric gases like oxygen and nitrogen, which could react with the hot metal and cause defects. The argon gas provides a stable, unreactive environment, ensuring a cleaner and stronger weld. Helium is another noble gas with unique properties. It is less dense than air, which makes it perfect for use in balloons and airships. Unlike hydrogen, which was previously used for similar purposes, helium is non-flammable. This means there is no risk of the gas igniting and causing a fire, making helium a much safer choice. This combination of low density and non-flammability is what allows helium-filled balloons to float and why it is preferred for inflating balloons to hydrogen. Argon also finds a crucial use in light bulbs. Within the glass bulb, there is a tungsten filament that needs to be heated to produce light. If the filament were in contact with air, the oxygen would react with the hot tungsten, causing the filament to burn out quickly. By filling the light bulb with argon, which is inert and does not react with the heated filament, we ensure that the filament lasts much longer and remains effective at producing light. Neon, another noble gas, is famously used in neon signs. These bright, colorful lights you see in signs are created by passing an electric discharge through neon gas, which then emits light. Neon signs can also use other noble gases like xenon and argon to produce different colors. The inert nature of these gases ensures they remain unreactive and stable under the electrical stress, providing a long-lasting and safe source of light for advertising and decorations. Great work, that's everything for today. In today's lesson, we firstly looked at noble gases inertness, low density and non-flammability make them suitable for various practical applications. Their lack of reactivity is due to their full outer electron shell, which means that they do not easily lose electrons. These characteristics make them suitable for creating inert atmospheres. Secondly, we looked at a range of practical examples of noble gases, including argon, helium, neon and xenon. We were therefore able to see how each property of noble gases contributes to their functionality in different scenarios. This lesson has helped us understand the practical significance of the noble gases' chemical properties and how they are utilized in everyday life. See you next lesson.